Mackie, hello. You got into a quick and didn't start yet. Can you hear me correctly? Is the sound right? I hate to have to fix it afterwards. It drives me nuts. Duca on the way. Well, I'm in Moonside and it's confusing. Oh yeah, everything's opposite in Moonside. <laughs> this game is awesome. There's an invisible guy following me, by the way. Hmm. This is the dinosaur museum. There's an enemy in it. You gave Joe your PSP? That's how he has the PSP? I was wondering, uh... Cause he had all that- I, I thought- I thought he just borrowed it from me. You actually gave it to him? Phone just froze. There we go. Okay. So... Hopefully this will work. He borrowed it, but then helped me out a lot while saving Disney, so I gave it to him for Christmas. Ah. What a buddy. Buddies being buddies. Oh, God. This is so annoying. I have no idea where I'm going. This is when not playing the game in like 15 years really starts to take a toll on you. I'm getting whooped. Great, and Jeff's about to die. Great, Jeff's dead. Excellent. And Ness is homesick. Okay, let's reset because that was stupid. Okay, welcome to Earthbound. In Moonside, where everything is confusing. And all the answers are... Why is the phone ringing? Oh, mom. Ah, he's homesick. I would be homesick too in a crazy place like this. This place is weird. 
You have a unibrow. That's awesome. You should be proud. Oh, go away, you stupid dolly thing. Dolly cloth. By the way, Mike, if you want to um, play these games, play just plug your uh, you have a PS3, plug your controller into the uh, computer, and you've got you just download a couple of emulators and games, and you're good to go. You guys keep teleporting me. But never where I need to be. So that guy, I, I kind of found the the loop here. So me back to the hotel now. probably sleep at the hotel because I uh I could use a PB boost. <laughs> How many times have I cracked that joke so far? This guy's blocking my way. Ah, there we go. I have that crazy guy following me now. Oh, come on. Take it easy, Mike. That sucks. Just in. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to restart this fight. When no magic, and I said I should go to the hotel. I said that. 
you know what, let's reset. So I'm not going to kill him, because he just keeps paralyzing me and I have no magic. So now we know what to do. First, let's take a sleep. I did fix the Wednesdays. Thanks for catching that. I can't believe I screwed that up. This is a great RPG. One of my favorites. And very funny and crazy. You're the man whose eyebrows are connected and who has a gold tooth. Okay. Ooh, that enemy is about to attack me. Lucky. Alright, let's whoop this guy. This is the evil statue that's been causing all the problems everywhere, possessing people. Magic. See, the person I who is, would be perfect for for a battle like this is Paula, and of course she's been kidnapped right now. She's got great magic for single enemies. Got him! 14,000 experience points, whoa! Nice. Can't believe Jeff didn't level up from that. Did I break the curse? The Manny Manny statue is actually a device that created illusions. The illusion device was destroyed. Alright! I got a phone call. The gourmet yogurt machine. Trout flavored yogurt. Mmm. I well, remember when that uh, the customers at work would be like, "Hey, do you have any of that trout flavored yogurt?" They're probably playing this game. Neglected class. Hopefully you'll get it soon. That's a great shipping. Uh, I've got some problems here. Gotta go by. What just happened? Oh, now I can speak to the Talarama guy. Oh, that's right! You can teleport in this game!
<laughs> I'm not. I left your package in the desert, and I'm not going to get it. It's your package, right? You get it. Trout flavored. It's our new item of the bulletin, trout flavored yogurt. Delicious! Okay. A taxi is attacking. Let's take a nap. So since I wasted all my magic. I like that in RPGs, sleeping is the universal recovery of health. They, they just said that a man, long hair and an Aloha shirt was found in the street. I think it was a Trader Joe's employee. Alright, so I've got to go to the desert and pick up the machine that the, the delivery man lost. And then come back here to make trout flavored yogurt for Mr. Monotoli. Even though now I just broke his spell that he had on the place, so he's probably going to get kicked out of town. This is the most low traffic bridge of all time. Features only kids walking on it. Where's the sunbathing people? Because that must be where the guy dropped. Ah. Uh. Yeah, they're sweating. And they get sunstroke, and you have to cure it. It's so annoying. I hate the desert. Bad buffalo became team. Ah, oh, you get poisoned. Oh, I hate poison. Battle system. You're the second person to say this game reminds me of Pokemon. It's closer to Lufia. Did you ever play Lufia in the Fortress of Doom? Then there was Lufia 2: Rise of the Sinistrals, which I never um. Never quite finished, I don't think. There's a monkey here. Yeah, Lufia was a great game, and I think they borrowed... I wish I... I have to remember to look it up. I don't know what came first, Lufia or Earthbound. But I think they one borrowed their system from the other, because it's quite similar. I haven't played Lufia in a long time. It's another great old RPG. Ah...
Crystallis, oh my god. I don't think I ever finished Crystallis. That was for Nintendo, right? Not Super Nintendo? One of those real early ones. Butterflies! But I need... No, I don't want to fight those plants. I need the yogurt machine. Look at this. Really, you gotta feed these people? I have... Great, I don't have either of those things. I, I've had skip sandwiches the whole game, I just used them. Hey Junie boy! It's going! I just beat the Manny Manny statue and then the delivery man lost my package of the trout flavored yogurt machine and he said he left it in the desert and I should go get it. But now I'm, I'm in the, uh, the cave with the monkeys. Oh, picnic lunch! That's exactly what I needed! What are the odds that, that, that it would drop it? That's weird. I was just about to go to town to get a picnic lunch because the monkey in the cave needs a picnic lunch. First enemy I fight when I leave the cave has a picnic lunch. And there it is. Move. Whoa, there's a pizza inside. All right. Great. Hopefully one of the next monkeys is looking for a pizza. Yeah, I remember the monkey cave, actually. A sprig of parsley. Hopefully a monkey wants that, too. Uh, I don't have a wet towel. You need a pizza, I got a pizza. I'll give you the pizza, and everyone will be happy. Junie Boy, do you remember if it matters which monkey you're feeding? Like, does it take you to, di to a different place? Another pizza! So, I guess it does matter, because now I'm in a dead end. So he wants a wet towel. Someone else wanted... 
What did this guy want? A skip sandwich. So, I'll... I think there's a shop, like, right outside, right? I'll buy some stuff. I know they have a wet towel. I remember buying it. Ah, uh, I just left when there was a butterfly. Oh, and the butterfly is remaining. Thank you, butterfly. Really? You stand no chance against me, man. Drugs. Hmm. Maybe you can't? Oh, I think the other guy sells the hotel. I think this guy has got it. No. Why did I think you get a wet towel from these guys? That's frustrating. Too much of a chatty Kathy. I don't know if the old guy sells stuff, but I'm, uh... That makes sense. But I know that outside of here... Like, right by the tunnel, I know they sell stuff there. Yeah, sure. Do a solo stream of Pong. That'll be really exciting. Um, did I just use the wrong thing? Yeah, I did. Do it like a Spanish soccer announcer. For uh, those who are unaware, Mike Loves Greg is the same Mike who did Zombies Ate My Neighbors with me. Cover blown. Or maybe you can't buy things here. Am I just totally confused? Yeah, you just sleep here. Really, sunstroke? As soon as I come out from my sleep? That's ridiculous. Let's buy a skip sandwich anyway. We'll buy a skip sandwich and a wet towel. What's that sound? You hear that sound it keeps making? The doo doo. Yeah, there it is again. I don't know what that is supposed to mean. No, I don't remember that sound.
Oh yeah! I don't remember what to do with it though. They're not going to have a wet towel at the department store. Ride the bus? Where's the bus? Their bus stop? Yeah, I'm on the map. I don't see a bus. On the bottom. Like where I am? Oh, the yellow sign. Oh! I s you know, I thought that was just a marker that you were going in the desert. Bus stop. I don't think I ever rode the bus. And how do you get off? Do you just hit a button and it goes? There better be a sign in the desert. This is great. I can't believe I don't remember the bus. No recollection of the bus. There we are. Look at that. This is excellent. Great tip. Now let's see if the old guy sells stuff in here. He does! He's the guy that has the wet towel! And he had a picnic lunch too. What else does he have so I know? Calorie stick, lucky sandwich, can of fruit juice, picnic lunch, refreshing herb. Okay. We're in business now. Really, you're gonna try and find me again, you stupid mole? No chance! You got no chance against me. Yes, you are an earthbound freak. Yeah, I've got a skip sandwich. I didn't have to go back to town at all. I could have talked to that old guy. It would have been fine. Should have listened to you, Junie boy, but I didn't. I just bought a wet towel. Protein drink. Come on. I don't think I have one, do I? If I did, I got rid of it. I got a pizza. I got a pizza for you.
A protein drink? Why, that's exactly what this guy wanted. Ah, uh, the stupid egg hatched, so now it's useless. I've got to get it to him before it hatches. Oh, uh, that's what the ruler's for. Okay. Of course, I gave the ruler to Escargo Express. So we need a ruler. I need to get from Escargo Express, and I need to get a fresh egg. Can we just give him anything? Nice, there's the bag of Dragonite. That's pretty awesome. So, what does this guy want? The most interesting thing is the King Banana. the other thing I need? Oh, and the fresh egg. I need to get to them in time. That's right. Oh, a new ruler. Okay. So we'll get rid of the chicken. And... Eat the handbake strap. All right, let's get the ruler. So I don't need to get this cargo express. I know it's like S cargo, but it's S cargo. Oh, uh, I just got rid of the hamburger. No, did I do that? No, I didn't. I thought I dropped it by accident. That would have been stupid. What do you want? I don't have two, do I? Oh, that's so annoying. Flame pendant? Woo! You know, I'm gonna give it to Jeff, because he's weaker and he needs it. Be nice. I'm not gonna keep everything for Ness. All right, so I need a hamburger. <laughs> they really, really draw this out. And the fresh egg is in here.
Hope I'm going the right way. No, I don't think that's the right one. The fresh egg person, I think, is in here. I hope. No, she wants the ruler. Yes, I'll give you the ruler, but I need to give the other guy the fresh egg. Yes! A neutralizer? That's pretty cool. Yes, I would be... I would be not offended, but... annoyed... if you... if Mike started, I beat the Sega. You'd be like, here's this guy, I hate to even promote him by making fun of him, but he, um... he's like the happy... Video game nerd, total ripoff of the angry video game nerd, and he gets like a nice amount of views on YouTube. What an asshole! Yeah, I'll come out and say it publicly. That guy is a douchebag. I beat Greg, who beat the Nintendo. That would be funny. Aha, uh -huh, I have King Banana. Just me beating you in 30 Street Fighter matches. <laughs> You're crazy, man. I'm surprised I haven't... I haven't screwed this up too much, I've been pretty much remembering where to go, and it's a confusing place to be. I'm pretty sure this is the last place. A hamburger? Woohoo! Before I go and throw the hamburger out, let's see what's in this room. Of course, I need the pencil eraser when I don't have it. I don't want to drop that. Now I need to get the Escargo Express because I remember I put the pencil eraser away. I'm pretty sure. Let me just make sure. Yes, I did. Butterflies are nice, they're pretty. There's always a mole here attacking me, every time.
need my pencil eraser. I think that's it. Let's sell something. What else should we sell? I need two secret herbs. Molden sand a chance. Again, every time, this mole's just like, Oh yeah! This time I'm gonna kill you! There he is! Again. He's always there! Okay. I've got to remember where to go. Don't know if I'm going the right way. Not her. No. It's where you go first, and then you leave and go into the other monkey room. Oh, I thought I did go into the left. I kind of went to the middle. Must have been closer to, to the right. And then this is the King Banana guy. Picnic lunch and the burger. So it should be here. Yeah, there we go. I erased a pencil. And I'm gonna get rid of the croissant because I just don't have the room for it. There he is. Let's pick up some treasures first. Couple of life noodles, you take that. Nice. There's the gourmet yogurt machine, but I need to get rid of something else. Uh, Jeff has. Ah, oh, I could have sold his great charm also. Get rid of the stupid wet towel. Gotta hear his speech again. Got it. Teleportation, the greatest thing. It's the equivalent of acquiring an airship in any Final Fantasy game. Or like the uh, Epoch or epic, whatever you want to call it, in, um, Chrono Trigger. Oh, so he, oh wait, the guy's outside. Alright. Gotta leave now.
At least you know as long as you go to the right, you're, uh, leaving. Going the right way. There he is. And there's the mole. The mole who doesn't learn his lesson. Sometimes I gotta bitch in the face before you learn, kid. Oh yeah, I think when you learn Teleport 2, you don't need a long road, you can just sort of spin in a circle and get anywhere. A butterfly! No more walking from town to town for me! Oh, this is excellent. I can go to Winters? That's kind of crazy. There's a pencil eraser thing there, too. Alright, but I'm going to the Monotoli building. Giving him the yogurt. Stupid yogurt. Trout flavored yogurt. Oh, I think I talked to the girl downstairs actually. That's annoying. Oh wait, I think I saw the girl waiting outside. There. So now I can get to the 48th floor. Let's be smart and save first. I think when I was a kid, when I first played this, I didn't realize that you lose. They don't ex explain it, so and I didn't have an instruction booklet because I bought it used. But I think I would just, um, anytime I got money, take it all out. But then you don't realize that when you die, you lose half your money. So that's probably why I never had enough money. <laughs> and in this game, this run through, I haven't had that problem at all. Oh yeah, going up to Mr. Monotoli's office himself. I don't like the sounds up here. Uh, I don't know a secret code. Okay. Great, she invites me up here to get attacked by a robot. Thanks a lot, yogurt lady. Well, 
like that the robot was saying TikTok. Hmm. What does the secret herb do? Oh, I threw it out and it revived someone who's unconscious. That sucks. Now that was a waste of time. What? Another sentry robot? Really? Saying TikTok, not even attacking. Come on, kill him. Ugh, that's so annoying. Just keep calling for help. Kill the other one. That should do it. No. There we go. Ooh, Ness just got a lot stronger from that fight. What is... Yeah, I don't know what Life of Theta does. Maybe not go in that room. Oh, it's the same thing. They both lead to the same place. The physics don't make a whole lot of sense. Like, that you go into doors this way and they would be facing each other. That really makes absolutely no sense. Wow, Ness's attack really went up. Uh, just before I kill him. First, what's here? God, this is worse than the monkey cave. Oh, that's a boss. Whoa, okay, we won't be using magic on him. What? Uh. Revive him, revive him. Nice. Jesus.
Oh, what a waste! Oh no, he doesn't have the uh... That sucks. The wrong person is the neutralizer. What is going on here? He keeps eating these bologna sandwiches. Am I missing something here? I hate this clumsy robot. Oh my god! Thank you, Runaway Five! Wow. I wasted another. It's the second time I wasted a big bottle rocket. Thanks, guys, you're the best. Oh, Mr. Minotoli isn't so tough after all. And I got Paula back. That's right, there's winters and there's summers. This game is much longer than I remember. This is a lengthy adventure. Much longer than Super Mario RPG. Stupid jerk. Yeah, that's right. I yeah, know, I'm having trouble getting this camera tilted correctly. There we go. Thanks for the compliment on the knees, though. Gotta keep my knees bent. I hate Pokey. He's just the worst.
Pokey took it. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not okay. I hope it crashes. What just happened? And haha, -ha, Mike. <laughs> no, my knee is not a Mr. Saturn. We need to go to three, okay. I could teleport to three, hello? It's a Mr. of Health Insurance or a Master? Who's Mig? There's a present here. Oh, oh, MLG. <laughs> that is uh, Mike, the same Mike who did Zombies Ate My Neighbors with me. Mackie was here earlier, I think you missed him. Yes, I did zombies with Mike. Oh, sorry, sorry, so I'll never act out again. Phone call. Apple Kid, always inventing stuff. Invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. Ooh, he's going to Jeff's dad to create a Phase Distorter. What do you do all the time? You save. Because you don't want to have to redo everything. Oh wow, everyone's about to level up too. To the next fight. Another phone call? Orange Kid! Trying to ch change boiled eggs into raw eggs. Great. So the orange kid came off as like the real genius and the apple kid as a joke in the beginning. That's totally not the case. Oh god, I cannot get comfortable. Try not to show you my knee too much. Alright, to three! Gotta love Runaway 5's music. I'm a big fan. Going through the desert to three. 
Don't know why yet. But Paula believes that there's a way to get to Summers from three. Yo, know, teleporting, you don't get the music. Junior Boy said the Runaway 5 bus is better than teleporting. I'm not used to 3 looking like a normal place. I'm so used to 3 being haunted. I must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. Oh, I remember. We crashed the thing that uh, he flew from Winters and Jeff flew in. It's in the middle of the graveyard. And now the graveyard has no zombies in it. See, some things come back to me. I haven't been doing that bad with this game. Not too bad. They fixed it? Gotta readjust again. Bear with me, guys. There, that should do it. Now, if we board the Skyrunner, we'll take us back to Winters. With Dr. Antonot's help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. Why couldn't I just teleport to to Winters? That doesn't really make sense. Oh, because we need... Uh, yes, it does make sense, because we need to bring this ship to him to modify. If we just teleported there, then there would be no ship to modify, and it would make no sense. Good job, Greg. Crack the case. Another great song. Travel music. We gotta watch it go through the sky, over and over. It's kind of slow for a flying machine. I like the design though, the old UFO look. Oh. It's made in the USA. You've never played this game, Mike? This is a classic. Wow, really? So, but I hope you played like Final Fantasy 
Mike says he didn't get into RPGs until Final Fantasy VII. Hope you played Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy II and III, which are now called four and six. Those are important ones. Oh, okay, good. Well, this is another one to to check out. This one, uh, I check out Lufia. Um. Yeah, 4 and 2 are separate games, but they're basically the same. 4 is just better. It was just the Japanese version, and it had... <laughs> Mike's getting mad at me. Well, 2... If you're talking about the Japanese 2... Yeah. Japanese 2, I'm talking about um, USA 2 and Japanese 4 are the same game. Japanese 2 is like kind of a weird version of 1, and 3 was pretty close to those two also. 4 was awesome. 5, I, I, I introduced the party system, but I didn't love it. You liked 5? I don't know. 6 is great. 5 was like. I never, I never finished it. I, Five is your favorite? I tried. I played the first half of five like three or four times, and then I was like, "Yeah, couldn't finish it." Uh, seven's great. I think eight's great too. I love nine. Anyway, let's move on. Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. I'm pretty good. Oh, ha ha. Very funny, he's just like me. Um. The cave north of Stonehenge, or the. The little thing in the middle of it. Oh, I need an eraser eraser to do that? So I guess they did mean, they really did mean the cave north of Stonehenge. Oh yeah, now I can fight this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take you on. Fourth year sanctuary location. Wreck this guy. Freeze Theta. I'm gonna whoop him. Jeff's a little useless. We're lagging out a little bit. I'm gonna move this to cool it off. So far this has been the easiest of these bosses.
I'm going all offense in this fight. Just finish him off. No healing. Good thing she has a lot of peepee. -pee. This costs a lot. Got him. Ness leveled up twice? I mean, he's close to leveling anyway. Wallow leveled up twice too. And Jeff leveled up. Wow. I gained five levels technically in that fight. No more poison! There it is! The next part of the melody. Circle. Whoa, everyone's running away from me now. Ah, photo up. This guy drives me crazy with his pictures. Summers now. There's a gift up here. Paula can't have it though, Jeff needs it. Also, This to Paula. Get the trout yogurt to Ness. We'll have Ness give the neutralizer. Is <gasps> that what I meant? To Jeff. There we go. Um, why won't it work? No, I don't need to buy stuff. Well, that's good, but why won't the Sky Runner work? Not that now it works? That's a little strange. Off to Summers!
Awesome. Broke it again. And this time in pieces. That thing can't land for crap. An RPG for two player night? What's a two player RPG? I think this one technically can be two player. Shops, I love shops. A marathon for charity? We could do a charity one. I would to I'm totally down to do that. But, what's a two player RPG? Unless just one of us is controlling it. And technically, it's, you don't need to be hitting the buttons personally. Well, I think Final Fantasy 2 for Super Nintendo, or whatever you want to call it, but it's 2 for Super Nintendo, allows you to control two people. Like, each control a character. No, maybe that was that Mystic Quest? Gotta look into this. Are there any long RPGs? A multi disc game? Oh, like Final Fantasy VII or something? My computer wouldn't be able to handle running it. We would need to uh, invest in. It would have to be charity for myself to invest in the computer to do it. Yes, a big lean bat. Oh. Oh, you know what? I do need to sell. Secret of Mana on Super Nintendo. There you go. Let's sell. Got so many bombs. How many bombs can I possibly use? I don't think I ever finished Secret of Mana, and I remember loving it, it's really cool. Great charm. Let's go to the ATM. Let's withdraw a nice amount, because we're going to be buying a bunch of stuff right now. You can always put it back in. I'm gonna need more money than that, Jesus. Uh, I like bats better than Yo-Yo's anyway. Why isn't the chef's frying pan a step up? Yeah, that's true. It doesn't have to be a two-player game. It can just be two people. Because with an RPG... I was thinking the same thing. With an RPG, it's much more about... Like, it doesn't matter that I'm hitting the buttons. It's about, like, you could tell me, oh, use this magic and I could do it. Like, if it's a battle. So that could work. A lucky coin... Gold bracelet. Don't need it. Platinum band, diamond band. Yeah. My lucky coin. That helped. Oh, so you gotta take more money out now. Take it all out.
It's a lot of money for 10 points of defense. Yeah, you get two grand back on it, though. I might just have enough to totally upgrade. I don't think I'm going to have enough. To sell some stuff here. Um... could sell the gold bracelet. Ah, we're so close. Wait, now he's gonna be weak when I fight. That sucks. to fight somebody for money I can't believe I just spent like all my money in this game another shop over there? I could technically teleport and fight somewhere, but where? Oh, you can just fight a taxi in town. I should just flash kill some poppies back in Saturn Valley. That might be the smartest thing. Let's do that. Teleport to Saturn Valley. Money making time. It's gotta be a flash kill. Really? I've leveled up quite a bit since I fought this jerk. I can't believe that wasn't a flash kill. Is the yo-yo less accurate? Would I be better off buying her the fry pan? Uh, didn't want to fight these guys. Junie boy, do you remember? Is, the, uh, is there an accuracy thing with the uh... Yo-yo that makes it miss more. It seems like I miss a lot with the yo-yos. Well, 
It would make sense because it's easier to hit someone with a bat than a yo-yo. I don't want to fight those guys. Can I not go back in? Oh, what a waste of time! Uh, the foppies are short-lived. You can't get smash hits with them. That's interesting. I should buy her a fry pan. Oh, that really sucks that the foppies are gone. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, good thinking. The back of Saturn Valley. Why didn't I think of that? I love Saturn Valley's music. <laughs> Mike said, you have a frying pan for a female character. That's not misogynistic at all. So true. And two RPGs from this era. The princess in uh, Super Mario RPG. Best weapon in the game? A frying pan. Um, maybe, he said maybe we should get her apron armor and a big diamond ring. What does she have on? A diamond band. <laughs> yep. You saw it for yourself. We called Junie Boy. Back to Foppy Land. With some quick cash. Oh man, are the enemies all gone? Enemies are all gone, I believe. <gasps> That sucks. Never mind. We're just wasting time now. It was a nice try. When men when the women <laughs> women characters get to level forty they are replaced by a younger, lower level character. <laughs> That's awesome. Come in! Hello. Just letting you know we're streaming. You didn't realize that yesterday either. Yeah, if I'm playing a game, I'm streaming it. Hello, streamers. <laughs> Might be. But you lose half your gold. Alright. I don't think I have the space to teleport, do I? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> This might have been a really bad idea. Oh, now he's running away. I don't know why. Great. I don't have the, um... No space to teleport at all. Ah, oh, but I'm flash attacking these guys. Nice. 
I prob probably already made the money I wanted. I just need to get back. Yeah, I'm in three. We can check how much money we made. Um, yeah, block the ATM, thanks. Still don't have enough. So close. Actually, let's just go to the desert. There's plenty to fight there. Plenty to fight, plenty to kill. I'm surprised you can't teleport to the desert. It's basically a town. I like that there's always a tunnel separating places. Except on it and to some. Is the mole gonna be here? Oh, now the mole isn't here. Yeah. It takes way too long to get your fourth character in this game. They give you Paula after in the second town, they give you Jeff in the third town, and now I've done so much since and still haven't gotten to poo. That sounds really funny if you don't know who's the name of the fourth character. Green him.
Whoa, what is this thing? Smiling Spear. Great. I greened him? Juni boy, are you there? I'm just curious, this has nothing to do with the game. I don't know why I just thought of this. How did you, um... Ah, oh, I turned around. How did you find the stream? Did you search for Earthbound? Because you'd be really hardcore if you're searching for Earthbound on here. I screened him. Poisoned. Oh, it's screw attack. See, once again, thank you, screw attack, for uh, spreading the word. Yeah, screw attack's been featuring my videos on on its front page, and they're awesome for that. So, thank you, screw attack. But I think, the funny thing is, I think a lot more people are watching the YouTube clips as they come out than uh, watching it live. That's funny.
I've probably made enough money. Yeah, I've gone from the left side to the right side of the desert. Ooh, and I found a present. Let's teleport back to Summers. I think Summers is technically the last town in the game. Uh, well, no, then there's where Pooh is from. That must be some count for something. Uh, photos. to the shop. After I buy this, I've got to stop this room almost at the two hour mark. So we'll end it with some transactions. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some. Oh, but you know what? I've gotta sell stuff. Because they pick stuff up along the way. I don't want trout yogurt. Now I'm ready to buy stuff. How much is that fry pan? Too much, right? I know, I can afford it. Let's do that. Hmm. Her iPhones went down, but hopefully she'll, she'll hit more often now. That's amazing. Butterfly just flew right into my face. Let's save. That was a nice way to end it. Butter some new armor and weapons and a butterfly in your face. Close to next level, Tim. We're gonna end because we're at the two hour mark. Alright, thanks for watching again, and uh, I'm gonna you know, shut it off here. I'll probably, hmm, yeah, I'll probably pick it up again in a couple hours. Most likely. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We got a lot accomplished in this, uh, in this part, though. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.